My name is Lee, and I don't ever tell a lie. <laughs> That's how I live. Mm -mm -mm. That's how That's you a good die. Way to live. Mm -mm -mm. So, in the most recent episode, yes. we, we saw DeAndra call you out yes. for telling Carrie that she had two hundred dollars in her bank account. Didn't have to call me out, sweetie. Just ask. I would have told your ass. You would have told her. Yes, I would have. Okay. You've also told people how much money that I said was in my bank account. What the f is that? I, I, I never tried to hide it. I never tried to deny it. The reality is, she came running in from shopping in Vail, wasted. And broke. Okay. And she was freaking out. And you know the reality is, yes, she originally spent the four thousand plus. She was able to return the buckle, so now her rate was down to like twenty two hundred. Okay. And she was freaking out. And I, at this point, believe that we're still friends. And so I'm like, what do I do? Like, my first thought is, we this stuff has to get taken back. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm I'm right. old school. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm from the poor people world where you return stuff if you yeah. can't afford it. Right. And so um, my philosophy is I'm, I'm going to go to Carrie because she, she and I are building this friendship and she already has a friendship with Deandra and I'm like, help me help her. She's freaking out in the room. And then and then I stupidly didn't filter what I said and I repeated what Deandra herself said to me. I have $200 in my bank account. Right. Now, when you continue to watch this episode, mm -hmm. it's odd to me because I'd love for someone to keep track of how many times it said, I don't have financial problems, mm -hmm. to, okay, so I have financial problems. Right. To, I, I, I have $200 in my bank account, to, I have 11 bank accounts. And it's interesting to me to, it's scary, not interesting, it's scary to, for me to watch someone who I thought I knew go from, crying so much that Carrie is wiping tears off her face to the second she mentions what I said. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, Chucky has entered the building. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> so when Deandra did call you out, was there anything that we didn't see on camera about how that situation played out? hundred percent. Lots of 100%. it. hundred percent. I said to her right in that moment, I said, Deandra, well, once she finally shut up, I said, Deandra, you're acting like I what I said. I went to Carrie and I was like, ha ha, never said it like that. I said, help me, yeah. help me help her. Now, if that's a negative for a friend to want to help another friend, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know how to be a friend then. Right. I don't know how to be a friend. Right. Because it wasn't telling someone's secret. It was, this woman is laying on a bed, bawling her drunk eyes out. And I took it as, this is real. Mm -hmm. Was I supposed to take it differently? Intention is everything. Mm -hmm. And if you don't get to the brass tacks of what the intention is, then you're arguing with yourself. Yeah. And I have no desire to argue with idiots. You guys put me in a, like, in a weird position because if you come to me and tell me something, I'm gonna go tell that person. I'm gonna tell her. Do you think that Carrie was trying to stir the pot? No. I no. think that Carrie was very upset when she saw the episode. Okay. I can show you the text message from her when she was like, so pissed. I said so much more. Wow. But in the effort of time, right. we have to limit it to a certain number. And you know, she called me because she was like, it looks like I threw you under the bus. And I said, I get it. I get that it's gonna come across that way, but you know, you just have to know that where we are today is not where we were then. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful for where we are and that's all we have to focus on. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so you and Carrie are good. My season goes like this. The death and mourning of something that I'm not sure ever was, mm -hmm. which is incredibly difficult to let go of that pain because you're still questioning it, mm -hmm. to the gratitude of being given an opportunity by a few people that I never thought I was gonna get, and the complete joy that I ha have by having those people be my friends now. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you're such a good friend, <laughs> and we are there for you. And you know what, you know the situation, you know what happened. I'm telling you, you're gonna get to watch my literal heart break this season.